Hey guys, it's Vito for this uh, last uh, Venus Tech One Plus One review. Today it's One Plus One revisited. It's my own One Plus One. I'm gonna show you my configuration, what 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 ROMs I decided, what ROM I decided to keep, what launch I've got, what's properly my configuration. So first, to start the configuration, you got to start with the phone. Yes, it's a One Plus One course uh, 16 gigabytes silk white and Chinese one yes I will not say where I bought it uh, I uh, first I, I, I have no justification to give but I bought this one because uh, in China because I really definitely wanted one I was with a cheap really cheap Chinese phone and I wanted the flagship and this was a flagship I get the opportunity to buy it to bought it uh, really cheap uh, and uh, it's why I decided to choose this um, so I've got a, a case silicon gel from Osley and a screen protector uh, tempered glass uh, 0 0.24 millimeters uh, crazy I think it's the best configuration you can ever get uh, maybe compared to the Galaxy Note that I've got before before uh, I love the fact that the the, the hardware uh, button was were uh, under the um, the silicone and so you click on the silicone and not on the button but I have to say it's just me so configuration here we are yeah I'm not under CM11s first thing to know Second things to know is that I'm under a special launcher. Yeah, but first let's go to see what kind of ROM I choose. And it's not there. Uh, it's there. Uh, yes, it's Android 4.4.4 stock. KitKat. Yes, the AOSP. Uh, just released, uh, I think, one week ago, uh, one from uh, by uh, the um, sorry, the one plus one developers. And okay, it's a bit, it's a bit awkward to to, to buy your phone that is already with a great and amazing ROM, which is Sony Imagine One Eleven S, to go from a stock ROM that has nothing, but uh, I love the Nexus experience first and also I was for me having the launcher and I'm gonna show you with Cyanogen mode is like stupid you know if you have Cyanogen mode you keep Cyanogen mode team but it's my it's my it's my opinion you know it's uh, it's only mine uh, and it's really stable uh, anti to score quadrant score shows that this room is well optimized, uh, as you can see on the PDF I put on the floor. Second things I put, super user. Yeah, I'm rooted, and it's it's good to be rooted. Um, yes, I put exposed on it with just one thing. It's that adds up notification. Yes, because I don't know why, but uh, Gravity Box is not working on it, and uh, tinted bar notification I think it's the name of the of the expose modules is not working also I have to say um, everything's working really great uh, really in a good way and really smoothly as you can see and I've got GMD immersive what is that uh, it's a, an app that allows you to hide a bar not notification bar and on-screen button of course, I have not on screen button, but it allows me to uh, hide the notification bar. Um, you can uh, make it uh, appear just by sliding down, and you can have the, the proper menu, and you can choose to just uh, to show a notification bar and on screen button, or just showing notification bar or showing nothing. One huge drawback of this uh, of these apps is when you are like that and you want to type a message or uh, just choose something, the keyboard is not appearing. As you can see, I'm search. You need to update the, the notification, and there it's gonna the, the, the keyboard is gonna appear. 
Um, again, it's an amazing app for uh, people who don't have a, who don't who does not have a, a, um, immerse, a immersion. Yes, immersive, uh, like in paranoid uh, Android, but still some work to do. And the last one, but not the least, is the launcher, which is this one, Yao Apiati, Apiati Launcher. Why I choose this one? Because it feels amazing. When I first tried it, I was, yeah, but yeah, it's crazy. I love that. I love this one. Uh, um, first thing, whether you just at home, just one today, you have the calendar, day, the media, uh, the weather, sorry. Uh, when you are moving, you have uh, you have maps, a plan, etc. Listing. You have your music setup. Where you can choose. Okay, first thing. Uh, you have also uh, settings. When you have the battery, you can enter in power saving mode. Uh, you can uh, what the okay. You can choose eye compact theme. Uh, show previous screen. You can go back to your all the all the home screen etc etc here's your left panel you have the center panel where you have your two picture you can add some other picture your preferred apps good and the, your collection games music social you can pretty much set everything you can keep this one go this way or stay there and if you're in social you can say oh, okay i want something more a suggested app in the the, the the launcher will automatically suggest uh, to you uh, some other apps. It's I love that. I love that. Yeah, and here you have all what A to Z apps. Yeah, I love I love this one. I loved it. Okay, it's um it's a stock Android, but this launcher it's yeah, I, I loved it. Um, what can I say more about it? Um, immersive. I don't know if I will keep it. Uh, because um, I think that they had a lot of job to do on it, and um, it's not perfect. Uh, another thing uh, you, you can see that I changed the icon pack. Icon pack. It's yes. It's um, it's a moonshine. Uh, I think many of you knew that and know this uh, this notification. Uh, and yes, it's my configuration. Um, what, what, I, what, what else I have to say? Um, I'm going more uh, through this one. Uh, uh, as you can see, I just installed it because I am not a uh, lot of application. I know that here you can add widgets. You can look, you can have a lot of widgets, a different one. Um, on uh, this screen, I think you can add some picture if it works or not. Not works. Um, you can have a lot of things, and uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I I really like this this uh, this engine. Uh, it's not perfect yet, but they are working on it, and I think yeah, we has good things to to share. Um, so don't forget to subscribe. Uh, maybe other videos will come if uh, some other ROM are coming. Maybe the update of CM11S, I hope. Um, if you want some apps that are not available on market and that I've got, or if you want some advice I can give you with my tools. I'm not Dave, I'm not, a, uh, I, I have no skills in programming, but I'm a proper user that can use um, many things on it. So. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, I won't forget. Uh, of course, when because you are under AOSP, you don't have all the features of CM11S, like double tap, like uh, screen gesture. Like, uh, 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 <laughs> a lot of things are missing, but it's stock Android. So guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next videos. Bye-bye.